the aviation industry is lying to you. Not only that, they're lying to themselves. For decades now, they've told us, don't worry, they can cut emissions while continuing to grow the overall number of flights. But the question is, have they ever met any of their own climate targets? Let's take a look. In 2007, the industry set themselves a target of sourcing 10% of all aviation fuel from climate-friendly sources in the next 10 years. But they didn't come anywhere near achieving this. By 2017, they were managing to get a minuscule 0.002% of aviation fuel from alternative sources. In 2010, they set a target to reduce fuel burn from new aircraft in 2020. Did they hit this one? Not even close. By 2019, they were falling short of the target by around 40%. We've looked at over 20 years of aviation industry targets on sustainable fuel use, and not a single target has ever been met. Not one. Here's the truth. The only way we can meet our climate commitments is to cut the number of flights. Doing that fairly means taxing the small number of people who take the vast majority of flights and sharing the flights we can take among all of us. This history of missed targets proves that the aviation industry can't be trusted to decarbonize itself. But right now, that is the whole plan when it comes to government policy to tackle aviation's climate problem. Help us demand the frequent flyer levy to tax the frequent flyers, squash demand and protect the climate. It's that simple.